T production. There was something missing the day they sank the USS Blenny. It wasn't any lack of attention. The cameras and the news reporters came out in full force to record the day that a veteran machine of war was sent to its watery resting place, where it would serve as a home for fish. The congressman showed up and made the appropriate speeches. The mayor of Ocean City beamed his thanks for the addition of a promising fishing reef off the shores of his resort town. And all the pomp and circumstance went off as planned. But the man who skippered the Blenny more than 40 years ago, when its 90-some crewmen fought the deadly war in the Pacific, that man thought something was missing. My first reaction was, this brings to mind the strains of taps. You know, taps are, are played for uh, military men who are being buried or having a funeral service. And uh, here was a ship going down that should have been a taps played. Somebody should have hired a bugler. Right, right, right. <laughs> But nobody thought about it, and I certainly, I didn't think about it. But anybody who's been in the military or ever visit, had a, been present at a military funeral knows that taps kind of rings your heart out. It tears at your heartstrings. You start to kind of clutch up, you know? It's hard to take. It's been a lot of years, a lot of years, a lot of good times, a lot of hard times. It's just a million things run through your mind. All the guys that you were with, y'all excuse me, all right? But the tearing at the heartstrings is eased by the knowledge that the Blenny has, in a sense, merely entered a new service. Serving as an artificial reef, she will attract fish. And wherever fish are in abundance, sportsmen are sure to follow. Scuba divers are already flocking to investigate the newest addition to the ocean floor. A remote piloted submarine camera owned by Maryland's Department of Natural Resources takes one of the first looks at how the Blenny has settled into her new home. These scenes of long-established artificial reefs is what the Maryland Department of Natural Resources is hoping the Blenny will soon become. A hangout for the myriad of ocean fishes which thrive off the coast of Ocean City. The first to settle on these man-made reefs are the lower ends of the food chain which eventually attract the sport fish and in turn lure fishermen over the site of the vessel. The murky depths are the natural elements for which the Blenny was designed. But her glory days saw her in much more active missions than waiting for fish to make their homes on her rusting skeleton. This is the Blenny as her crewmen will always remember her. A fighting machine. A highly decorated vessel which took the chances men take in war to deny the enemy command of the seas. From underwater torpedo attacks to surface raids on deceptively harmless looking craft which carried vital supplies to a relentless enemy. These accounts of her actions are all in her logbook. To the men who served on her, the last voyage of the Blenny was a storm-tossed journey of emotions. They knew that she would serve a nobler purpose than the fate of some of her sister ships. 
Well, I think it's a very decent burial. After all, when she sent so many ships to the bottom, it's only appropriate she go there herself. But it's much better than being made into razor blades or scrap metal to be sold back to the military. But in dying, this ship is living again. For you, Captain Hazard, for your crew, and for your ship, this story ends with taps. Not in sorrow, but in the tradition of military honor. Explore the wonders of nature found in 